Paul here from Older's Optional YouTube channel. Today we're heading out to St. Bees for two nights. Um, we'll see you out there. Yeah. Uh, Luke and I, you'll see some more pictures shortly. But Luke and I are heading out to St. Bees Island for a night camping. Uh, join us, we're going to have lots of fun, do some fishing. The weather at the moment is pristine, as you'll see by the time lapse. However, uh, the weather map, uh, the weather forecast has been deteriorating all week. So, uh, very disappointing. We're going to go a fair way out today, but we're just going to go out to some bees about 20 k's out uh, just because of the weather window, and it's going to be quite rough, I think. But anyway, we'll get there and see how we go. Spotties on. So we've got the spotties on the boat. I made a massive difference. They're really good, actually. I'm really pleased with them. Gives off a good brightness. About to head off shortly, but uh, gives off good light. Probably just need a slight adjustment. But they're looking really good. Very pleased. They look aesthetically good, and uh, the light out of them is pretty good, actually. Very pleased. Back together. Luke's here. We're heading out together. It's been a while since we've been out together. But the band is back together. Okay, so we're out here at some bees, just in the between some bees in Keswick. Um, got a tip, you know, might catch some try for some coral trout in here. Uh, just been fishing in the calm because it's a bit windy and choppy today. And quite a swell coming through, which isn't much fun. Um, so I've just been swimming, in the, swimming, fishing in a sheltered spot, and uh, I've got a little bluey, a little fusel there, which I can use for bait, um, and. Uh, just uh, trying to get out of the wind and enjoy some fishing. Um, but anyway, we've got a couple little fish. We'll just see how we go. I wouldn't say it's top-notch fishing, but nevertheless, uh, I got a couple little fish. I haven't been here very long, and uh, it's too soon to go and set up camp yet because we won't get in with the tide. So we'll see how this goes. Keep you updated. All right, we're on to something decent here. I am tipping a trout, 45 centimeters. Decent, a little bit of drag. Ah, it's a red emperor. Only a bub, but a red emperor. All right, let's just uh, get this one in the water. Okay, we got a, a, we got a, we got a small red emperor at best, small, but it's a red emperor. And it's a fish. Do you want to have a look? We got a red emperor, which is good. Uh, it's a fish at least, good quality, not quite the size we want, but nevertheless, good quality uh, red emperor fish. Fought really well. Um, do you wanna have a look at it? Let me show you. Okay, small, I know, but it's a red emperor. Not bad. I need about 10 meters of water, so it's not far. There's some decent little bites here. Let's see what we've got now. It's a uh, similar distance. And we've got a coral trout. A beautiful coral trout. I don't think he's size, but he's beautiful coral trout nevertheless. We'll see what that cakes to. Well, uh, we just got onto a really nice coral trout. I don't think he's gonna be size, but nevertheless, where there's one coral trout, there's gotta be a mummy and a brother coral trout. I'm very happy with that fish. We'll measure him, but he's gotta be 38. I don't think he will be, so I'm probably gonna throw him back. But nevertheless, uh, I love catching my coral trout. It's my favorite fish to catch. Well, I just caught that really nice coral trout. That was great. And he was sized just by the barest of margins, but he was rules of rules macker and he made the size of 38. So he's going in the esky. Uh, it's always a good start to the journey when you catch a trout. However, the rest of it's not so good. The weather is not great. Not great at all, but we'll get there. We'll do the best we can. Last grassy sweet lip I caught. Um, he bricked me, I got him out. But I lost the sinker and um, one hook, so I must, the other hook must have caught on the reef. So I'm going to re-rig re that line now. I've just put out my other one, so keep fishing. But I'm going to re-rig, going with a Paternoster rig with the um, uh, sinker tied on loosely at the bottom so that if it does get caught, it just comes off and I don't lose my whole rig. Uh, but going alright, caught a couple of fish, and we'll re-rig and see how we go. Oh, this sounds good, doesn't it? Uh, I think it's a, another coral trout, hopefully. Oh, 
Oh, bad fish. Stinking bad fish. I don't want them. Just a stinking bad fish. I'm not a big fan of these, but anyway. Wow, it was all that excitement for a stinking bad fish. I'm not a big bat fish fan. You can't even, they're good to catch, but that's kind of where it ends. Um, but I'm just constantly catching fish here. Luke's over the back there chasing um, some mackerel. I think I haven't heard that he's got any yet. But uh, there's quite a few, well, here we go. There's quite a few fish coming through here on the sounder. And uh, just not missing with prawns. And I've caught everything. Um, Red Emperor, Coral Trout. Um, uh, what else have I got? Blueies. I got another one on the go now who's playing with me. I think we might have him on. Yep. Oh, he might have, oh no, it's a good fish. He may, he may have bricked me, the little bugger. Oh, he's coming out. I got him out. He's taking some drag. It's a, it's a decent fish. It's a good fish. Ah, oh, it's a decent sweet lip, grassy. We've lost our sinker. I have our sinkers on the Panacosta loosely, so that if we lose anything, I just lose the sinker. But we've got a nice, um, nice grassy, nice sweet lip. I think they're, they're 25 centimeters, so this is well and truly over 25 centimeters. We did have um, intentions on going maybe earlier in the week out to a place called Scorford Island, 50 k's out. But slowly over the week, the weather has been deteriorating. And in fact, tomorrow it's supposed to be a really light northerly. It's turned into a southeasterly and with a bit of intent. So we've made it as far as um, some, and uh, that's enough. That's about 20, 20 some Ks. And uh, that was a rough ride out. But we made it. Um, Luke's just stopped to flick at some, um, I think some tuna busting up. Um, I had to get into the safety of this zone because I was buggering. It was horrible, the weather. But we're in here, it's nice and protected in here. I just saw a heap of fish busting up in the mouth of the um, gap between um, Keswick and some bees. And I'm just having a look now to see what that looks like. I can't see them anymore, they've disappeared. Very skittish, I'm nowhere near them, but they've disappeared. Just sit here for a moment and see what we can see. So Luke and I have got the band back together. Uh, we're out camping and fishing. Um, but can I encourage you, look up Luke on Endless Seas. Great channel and some great fishing content there. Endless Seas and you'll cook up with Luke. We're just after lunch. We're having a bit of a hot dog. Luke's having a bit of a flick from his boat. <coughs> we just saw a bright bus stop just out of his boat. <coughs> so he, he's just after lunch and Luke's trying to query uh, some plastics just out of his boat. everyone, the band's back together. Me and Luke, we're out again for a camp and we haven't done it for a little while. Welcome Luke. What have I taught you today so far? Grasshopper. We're camping on an island uh, just over there. We're coming chasing some mackerel around this uh, rock. We're not doing so good today. Um, but I did get some trout, eight trout this morning, so that's a good start. Did you get a trout today, Luke? Nah, no trout. It's the other small ones. Yeah. We'll keep going. We'll let you know if we get anything. So Luke, from Endless Seas, give us a fishing tip. Fresh bait? Use fresh bait? No, I don't use bait. I know. Should try it. I'll get it converted one day to fishing with bait instead of lures. Mm. Do, you, do you confess... Do you confess that you catch more fish with bait than with lures? Just little fish. No, that's, that's not the question. Do you <laughs> do you concur or will you admit that you catch more fish on bait than on lures? No. Deny? Yeah. Okay. No, you probably do catch more fish, but you know, lures specifically target certain fish or larger fish at times. What's your favourite type of lure you to use? Um, I love the little soft plastics. Z-Mans. Z-Mans, the little paddle towels, very versatile. We are just using them around this rock out there earlier, chasing mackerel. Just cast and wind, but you can jig them as well on the bottom for trout and bottom species. 
That's probably my go to. That or just casting the shiny metal lures. Just for the record, the coral trout was on bait today. Yeah. So why don't you give us a comment in the comments? Are you bait or are you a lure fisherman? A soft plastic and lures or bait? What's your favourite? What's your go to? If you have to catch a fish for dinner or you go starving, are you baiting it or are you luring it? So we've got to uh, had an incident. We've lost one anchor, so Luke's used one of his for me, and we're using this as the point to tie off to the boats, but we're using one anchor point for both boats, so I'm going to hammer that in, and uh, I'm going to hammer it in with my restored axe that I restored um, future episode, maybe. But, so we're just going to hit this in, and this will do for both of us tonight. We'll have to move it again later. I'll do that with you later. So we just walked down here. Oh, look it off. We're gonna have a quick uh, flick off the beach. Tide's just turning. It's a bit shallow, but we're gonna see what we can do. We just saw some, oh, there's some, some bait fish on the surface there. That's amazing. There she is, getting ready for the night. All high and dry, nice and dry. She'll come back to the water about 11 or 12 o'clock tonight. Sitting here today reminds me of one of my um, favourite verses at the moment. Second John, chapter 1, verse 3, which says, Grace, mercy, and peace will be with you from God the Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father, in truth and love. Here's a guy, he's been uh, searching the beach up and down looking for um, turtle eggs, which is normally quite a few here. I have not seen any turtle tracks, but there's normally some here. Well, that's what he's looking for, some tasty eggs. Apparently, according to Luke, he lives in that tree over there right near my swag. So we're going to move my swag because I don't want to get a rude awakening at 2 o'clock in the morning from our friend the goanna. Here's our mate. He slept in the tree all night. And he's just coming out now. And he's going to go look for some breakfast, some, um, what do you eat? Turtle eggs. I, he's way too friendly. What a beautiful creature. So here Luke and I found, that's Luke. Luke and I found these turtle eggs hatchlings. Um, before you send me hate mail, if you've got hate mail, send it to Endless Seas. But this is, um, you can see all the eggs, the turtle eggs. The turtle eggs that have been um, hatched. So the turtle, you often see the tracks will come up from the beach, nest in here. There's a hole there, there's another one there. And there's a big one up here that Luke found. Under the tree here. We found that one, and um, you can see there's a big one there that Luke found. And just by the markings, we suspect, and the footprints around, um, we suspect that our friend the goanna, which I showed you before, has raided this this uh, nest. And you can see all the remnants of the um, eggs that he's been eating. So he's had a, quite a good feed in that one. The other ones we think they hatched, but these ones we think he ate. And I've uh, got my lights on the boat, boat's beached, but they're working. Look at my new spotties there, my Nova lights. Uh, they were amazing on the trip out at five this morning. They worked really well, and uh, I'll give you a view in a minute as it gets a bit darker. We had an all right sleep last night. Luke woke up this morning thinking someone was stealing his fishing rod, so he chased him, but it wasn't, it was just his imagination. We did have some visitors come in about five o'clock this morning and did some fishing from the beach. We're just making some breakfast. 
it looks crappy and we've got a bit of a trek to get home we want to go fishing for a bit we're just making some bacon eggs and a coffee um, not really motivated because it's not great weather but it is what it is you can only do your best and uh, we might have a quick fish and head off shortly because it's gonna get very bad this afternoon right it's breakfast time what are we having Luke morning everyone oh we got gourmet breakfast going on here bacon and crispy bacon here some fried eggs, onion and tomato. Yeah, it's gonna be good. With some buttered rolls and barbecue sauce. Just missing the cheese. Paul forgot the cheese. I've got cheese. <laughs> oh, we got cheese actually, yeah. But so. Paul did, Leanne remember the cheese. Thanks Leanne, yeah, we're eating like um, kings here today. In our palace with a, a view. Yeah, it's a spectacular view. Not the greatest weather, but it's still beautiful out here. My boat's in the out of the water. It's coming with Luke's is Well, look what Luke made for breakfast. Eating like kings. Mind you, the wind's blowing up, so we might be vomiting it back up on the way home. But nevertheless, just for the moment, it looks awesome. It's a bit rough, so we're just trying a bit of trolling to see how we go with that. Um, Luke's over there. Luke's trolling as well. Probably need to make sure we don't hit each other. And uh, they're on. Um, uh... Oh, we're just giving up on the trolling. Too weedy, and it's very rough. We're going to start our trip home. Um, better only than we anticipated, but it's going to be a terrible trip home. It's going to be rough. We'll see you out there.